Hello, and welcome to Yeti Academy. As a school administrator, one of the first things you're going to want to do is set up the time zone settings to reflect your location and your school hours. To do this, we're going to go to the Settings tab here from the dashboard. Now, we're going to go to the Time Settings tab up here. So here is where you'll get everything matching up with your clocks. First, we're going to go ahead and select a time zone. Since I'm in Pacific Time, I'll go ahead and select that from the drop-down menu. Then down here, we see that we can set school hours. Setting your school hours will determine when work is done inside and outside of school. Since a lot of us are working remote right now, you may find this useful to make sure your students are working when they're supposed to be. After that, you're going to set the school year duration. This is super important, given that all the usage reports to date in your school are determined by this school year. At the end of each school year, you'll need to reset your data so that you're not still seeing scores from the previous year. This is what you'll be updating each year to make sure all of your reports are up to date and current. So as we see, automatically this is set to the 2020-21 to school year, which is the current school year, and the dates above reflect exactly when school started and ended. I'm going to leave it there because it's accurate. If you've made any changes, you'll want to come down here and click Save. Should you have any more questions about time zones or any other area of the program, go ahead and check out our Help Center by clicking any of these purple question marks throughout the program. Our Help Center is always growing to better suit your needs and answer any questions you may have. If you find that you're still confused, you can always reach out to support via the chat or by emailing us at support at yetiacademy.com. We hope that you have a great time exploring the world of STEM education with your students.